away. Oh, human child. To the waters and to the wild. With a fairy hand in hand. For the world is more full of weeping than you will understand. Hello, Mom. Hello, my child. There's something I want to give you. What is it? Hold it to your ear and listen carefully. And you will hear the song of the sea. I can hear the sea. Keep listening. Mom, do you think I'm a good big brother? Yes, you're the best big brother in the world. Mom, where are you going? I'm sorry that I love you. Mom, Mom? Mom? And that was a great loss. Ben, Saoirse, and their father lived in the lighthouse without their mother. Ben didn't know why she left, but he missed her terribly. And there were so many things he didn't understand yet. complaining. Go on quickly to your rooms while I make a cup of tea. Oh, that's it. I'm out of here. So Ben escapes his granny's flat in the city with Saoirse right behind him. What do you think you're doing? No, you're going to stay with granny. I'm going to go back and live with Koo. Fine, you can stay with me, but only if you obey my orders at all times. That's the rule. Ben followed his map while Saoirse played her shell. Little did they know something was following them too. Whoa, look at that light, Saoirse. We found the selkie! At last! 
Not to worry, Silky. Come with us. We gotta get out of here before Maka, the owl witch, comes and finds us. Let's go, Silky. Lads, what a night. We found the Silky. Hooray! Yahoo! <laughs> now we want a Silky sings for song to um send us all home. We should give her one rope. Her name is Searsha. Searsha it is. Searsha it is. faded orbs of light. He hoped they would lead him to his sister, but he still couldn't believe he had met fairies, that they were real. Those stories that mom told me, they're all true. Siosha really is a silky. I should have taken better care of her. How am I ever gonna find her? Please don't let it be Maka. Woohoo, Koo, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too, babe. Whoa, since when could did you learn to talk? I could always try to do this for a Oh, gee, mackerel. Yeah, sure. I don't know. The owls took her. I'll get us there. Don't worry. Ku carried Ben through the forest and the trees all the way till they reached the holy well.
I told you, I'm Ben, and I'm, um, this is Clue, and I'm looking for my sister. Oh yes, forgive me. I have no memories except for what is in these hairs. Is all of this growing out of you? Seems to be. Are you the great Shanaki? Uh, yes, yes, I am the great Shanaki. I've almost forgotten. My mom told me stories about you. Careful, lad. You might snap a hair and lose a story on me forever. It is. You mean each hair holds a story? Um. Uh. Oh yes, it does. It does. Let's see what this story is. MacLear, the his heart was broken by a great, great tragedy. Such was his anguish that he cried a whole ocean higher and higher until we were all sure we were going to drown in his tears. I know that story. Maka and her hours, owls took all her all his sufferings away, and then he was turned to stone. Sad story by anyone's estimations, isn't it? Listen, Ben, Searsha's in trouble. I can sense it. Get her coat back to her, or else she'll be turned to stone soon. With, you see, without her coat, she has no voice. Without her song, she won't last the night. None of us will. Oh my God, I have to save her. Here, wait, follow this. It won't be easy. Maka has lost all hope. She will make you lose all hope too. Hurry. Don't worry, I'll get him there. Thank you, bye. Wait, what? Who said that? Who said that? to help him. Now, if someone said that they could take that pain away, would you let them? I suppose. That's all I do, Ben. I take away the pain. It doesn't hurt. It will never hurt again. Just as a child should be without worries or Oh, stop it, stop it, please, please. Good 
job. My son suffering so much, I couldn't bear it. I just wanted to take it all away. I thought I was helping everyone. Please, Maka, she needs your help. She's sick. Oh, poor thing. You must reunite her with her coat before it's too late. Cute, you are a brave and loyal dog. Thank you, Maka. May the wind travel with you. May your journey be swift. May you carry the hope of all the sheep with you. Go now! And so, the spirit of McAleer's dogs picked up Koo's feet and carried them as fast as the wind all the way back to the lighthouse. Dad, Dad, she needs her coat! Stop this, I need to train her to the hospital now, let's go! No, listen, Dad, she needs her coat! Sirsha! She's a silky like mom, isn't she? Yes, she is. It's time to sing now, Sirsha. Try it with me. Everyone swing out the camera! 